the, the magic mushroom and the, the sort of religions and, 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 and groups of people that, that use the mushroom for enlightenment and, 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 uh, and ceremonies. Um, and that uh, the tree of life is very much a reference to the cannabis plant. And that comes from a lot of historical information. And uh, the civilizations that referred directly to cannabis as being the tree of life, I believe include the Sumerians, the Babylonians, and the Assyrians. Although the uh, um, uh, Egyptians, you see this uh, in the handout I gave, that's uh, an Egyptian goddess, Sestat, oh, I'm saying that wrong. I'm Sestat? Yeah, I think so. I, I'm, I don't have it written in front of me, and I'm, I'm horrible with any language but English, and that is that. So. Anyway, um, you know, other uh, um, civilizations and, and cultures, religions, referred to cannabis as the tree of life. And that was because, in essence, for a lot of these peoples, um, uh, I'll use the Assyrians as an example, the cannabis plant was able to provide every essential need for them. Uh, or not everyone, but um, in, in times past, certainly it could and uh, it was able to provide their, their basic needs and, and huge industry. Um, because uh, uh, the Assyrians, and, and you've probably not heard of them very much, um, lived in what is now modern day Iran and, and Iraq, that part of the Middle East. And uh, they didn't grow a huge amount, although it's uh, you know, quite likely that they did have some uh, massive fields that they were using for their own military. Um, Growing your own hemp and producing your own rope and canvas, can canvas. The root word is cannabis. So um, uh, these were, you know, having your own hemp for your military has been for for millennium, you know, critical. I love having that. <laughs> and uh, oh, I'm not even like okay. What have we got here. Oh, I already talked about that. One. What's next? Oh, Jeep, moving right along. Okay. Um, yeah, so the Assyrians, um, one of the other real critical factors in the development of civilizations that cannabis is tied into is the incense trade. Um, certainly good rope was, was always of high value, but um, as uh, religions grew and, and religious ceremonies using hashish became not only a public practice but a private practice, the Egyptians in particular were uh, um, one of the civilizations that went from you know, mostly public practice of religious events to uh, private practices in the home as well. Although, you know, that was, you know, in, in some ways, you know, fairly common. People of every village would have, you know, multitude uh, gods and goddesses and, and ideas of how the world worked and, and, and what the controlling mechanisms were in that. And so uh, um, the cannabis plant was, was really important to a lot of these different religions. Um, the idea being that uh, back then they considered everything to have almost its own life force in, in a way you, you could say, but uh, I, I would say that that is very much the truth and that everything had a, a life uh, or, and, and was connected in various ways that we weren't able to understand, but different plants were given the uh, um, I guess uh, were uh, given names that gave them uh, credit for being vehicles to achieve uh, contact with other worlds, gods and goddesses, and other means of not only achieving ecstasy but information. And so it was thought that when you consumed a, a mushroom or part of the cannabis plant, um, that you were, in essence, eating uh, a part of this deity that you were uh, worshipping, and that in uh, sharing themselves with you, uh, they would uh, share some of their, their knowledge, and uh, people would um, worship uh, plant angels. Oh, we have your bag from it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, and uh, um, would incorporate the worship of plants uh, into the uh, worship of their various religious ceremonies. And so uh, um, 
the uh, you know traditions of, of of Jesus, where for example he was saying that you know you you through eating you know this uh, the, this bread um, uh, you are consuming uh, a part of me. That's like ancient pagan stuff that was happening like all over. Um, and uh, same with with drinking of, of the, the, the the wine. Um, he was reenacting you know ceremonies that were occurring in in a multitude of, of places. Um, and so uh, the uh, I, I I'm going to backtrack just kind of a, a little bit though. For, I'm jumping up to Jesus already, but. Um, <laughs> We're still trying to kind of trace together some of the history that led up to the, the massive use of these ancient civilizations. I mentioned Assyria uh, in part because it's so you know, critical to what happened in the ancient world and it isn't very well known of, but um, Assyria was uh, a great uh, um, trading route or a commonly used trading route towards Egypt because Egypt was a massive consumer of not only incense but gold and spices and food and, and all these various things. So as long as you were on the trading route to Egypt, you were doing pretty good. And the Assyrian army was able to kind of control that between uh, the, the uh, um, you know, Arabia and uh, um, the Mediterranean Sea. And, and they grew quite large and existed from about, I think, 3000 or 2500 BC to around 600 BC when uh, they were um, uh, finally uh, uh, destroyed by the essentially the Babylonians and other internal politics, but they uh, they, they had this huge and massive um, incense trade that was basically taking the hash from Afghanistan and and, and you know kind of further away and uh, w was trading it to, to Egypt and that's how they were able to be so successful. But uh, um, earlier on and and even during this time, uh, two thousand years ago. 3,000 years ago. Um, one of the most uh, underrated or least understood cultures that contributed significantly to not only the religious use of cannabis but the spread of it and the spread of its uses were the, the Scythians. Um, and uh, they weren't uh, building you know, castles and large Scythians. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 S-C-Y-T-H-I-N. Um, they uh, were really nomadic. They were the first uh, people that were able to use horses. And uh, they had this clan-based system that essentially uh, worked for them almost all the way from like France to uh, uh, Tibet and along the, the mountain ranges from, you know, from India and Pakistan and, and such. And uh, um, you probably historically would have only heard of them in some references from the Greeks and the Romans when they had uh, 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 been, uh, you know, uh, overtaken by the pagans a couple of times there towards the end. It was actually the, the Scythians that were finally so upset at the Romans that they just wiped them right out. And uh, <laughs> they were very likely the, the group that was able to uh, spread the use of cannabis and the seeds and various traditions um, for, for thousands and thousands of years. They were very friendly people. They did a lot of trading and, uh, you know, um, with the exception of the, the Romans really um, were uh, uh, able to, you know, build uh, you know, international culture at the time that was, you know, really based on, again, you know, those sort of principles that we have now. Um, the, uh, the the gypsies are kind of the, the remains of the, the Scythians of thousands of years ago. Um, despite the, the Roman Catholics, there's still some of them alive. Um, and uh, yeah, there's some parts of the world where the use of cannabis is ancient. This is a re relatively recent picture of a, a, a Sadhu in India, where uh, the religious use of cannabis is a constant. Um, the other um, use that's uh, very old and underrated is uh, cooking it into a, a milk and adding in a little bit of honey. Um, it's uh, called bang. Um, there's all sorts of different recipes. It's a very loosely used term. But in the old days, before they had you know even hash or really potent cannabis, they would make it into this drink. 
that uh, would be uh, used in, again, all sorts of religious ceremonies.